1957, during the Cold War, according to some reports, a secret project to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon's surface had been planned, but never actioned by the United States. According to the reports, the idea was that detonating the bomb on the moon's surface would cause a flash and mushroom cloud that might be seen from Earth, potentially intimidating the Soviet Union. Obviously, this alleged plan known as Project A-119 never happened, but if it had have happened, then it is predicted that one nuke would probably have done very little damage to the moon's surface, other than create a new crater. In order to completely obliterate the moon, you would require an unbelievable amount of energy, and currently there are nine countries that together possess around 15,000 nuclear bombs. However, to destroy the moon, it is estimated that more than 600 billion of the biggest nukes ever detonated, the Russian Tsar bomber, would be required. But even if this amount of firepower was available, you would still need to tunnel through the moon and distribute the bombs evenly within the natural satellite, which would be extremely difficult and take a very long time, hundreds of years. So, if we did have this kind of nuclear power and buried every one of the life-destroying bombs on the moon, what would happen after we pushed the red button and destroyed it? Well, if the nukes caused the moon to split into several large fragments, then the different parts would likely rejoin over time and form a new, misshapen, ugly moon. However, if the nukes completely obliterated the moon, it would be devastating for life on Earth. First, a large number of moon debris would head towards the Earth, raining molten rock down onto the surface, destroying everything that it came into contact with, killing millions upon millions of people and animals across the planet. This literally would feel like hell on Earth, and could last for thousands of years, possibly causing a planet-wide extinction event. During this fiery nightmare, the remaining moon material collects and orbits around the Earth, forming a ring. Periodically, moon rocks from the ring would break free and crash down to our planet's surface, causing constant bombardment. But even if the resistant life of Earth managed to survive all of that, our planet would be changed forever. So, if the moon was destroyed, it would be a worldwide disaster. But, at least we know it's pretty unlikely that mankind would cause that kind of devastation on our precious moon, no matter how powerful we become. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to know what life on Earth would be like without the moon, then why not check out the video showing now. Or, if not, just hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos on the channel when you're ready. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.